What if I told you that there's a forgotten technique that's more effective than hours at the range? I've had clients cut their golf fitness handicaps in half. You might not even know what a golf fitness handicap is. Let me put it this way. If your handicap is low and your fitness handicap is high, you're on a fast track to injury. So if you're feeling frustrated with tip of the week advice or looking for your next YouTube video, head over to the Skillist app, find me, submit your swing videos, and let's get together for a free analysis. You'll see results faster by replacing tips with strategy. I've done it, played it, seen it, all the above. I'm a coach for golfers like you. Hey guys, I'm Justin. I'm Chris. And we're gonna talk today about alignment. So something that typically doesn't even involve a golf swing here, we wanna talk about the setup prior to hitting a golf shot because a lot of the time our bodies will compensate for what we think is exactly aimed at the target, but it's actually affecting your golf swing in a major way because you're not and your body will subconsciously contort to try to get to the target and it might throw you all off in physical ways yeah. that <laughs> will just not work for your golf swing. So what most people see uh, in our golf lessons or what we, I'm sorry, what we see most in our golf lessons is that the dominant side, whether they're righty or lefty, might take control of their upper body um, and their club positioning might affect where their feet go because they're trusting more in that lateral look as opposed to looking at it from behind the ball, mm -hmm. right? So tell them a little bit about what you would be looking for from behind the ball to set up your swing. From behind the ball, I got a couple cues. Uh, say I'm like, we hit a good shot on the fairway. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> And we got our target. Yep. I'm looking something maybe about three, two to three yards in front of my ball as a visual cue mm -hmm. of where I want to aim. Yep. So I'm aiming at that purple post, mm -hmm. visible line to the ball. I would say this. Go straight little, out to it. Yep. This divot right here is a little left. So I might aim a little bit right of that divot. Perfect. So what's the first thing you're lining up to that point? Is it gonna be your feet or the club head? It'll be my feet. Okay. We want the feet parallel to that aim point. Yep. Okay. And then your club head's gonna be as best adjacent to your feet line now as possible, right? Mm -hmm. So we go back and check this stance. It's ideally the club head that's gonna be pointing directly at that point, right? Mm -hmm. Now you are perfectly aligned to your target. So that's perfect. Okay. So if I was lining up to that same point, a righty might try to take that right arm and kind of hover the club a little bit. Mm -hmm. So you can see that my shoulder line is now super left. Yes. Right? Is that what it sees? Yes. So even though my feet, let's say my feet are aligned properly, my right arm might be dominant here, which okay. will cause some take back. Because if you go back to where you just were, mm -hmm. I can put an alignment stick, go to where you were closed. Yep. Right there, that's, that's well left of so your- So let me come off of this line, yep. stay, stay right there. Yeah, nowhere near the target, no. right? So a lot of right-hand dominant people will do that. I would highly suggest a good fix to that would be lining up the club and everything with your left hand first. Mm -hmm. If you bring your right hand in and you tend to shift, you're gonna feel that yep. much more dominantly than trying to go straight to the ball. So bringing the club, uh, bring that right hand in from the bottom, adjusting your grip, keep your shoulders the same. Now that's pointed right at it. Now we're right at it. Yep. Okay, much better. So a great cue there. And like Chris said as well, if I was going to draw it from my side, it would be probably this divot here, just a little bit of inside of that exactly. to go with that pin. Now, there's two ways to do it. One, he goes with his feet. I like to go with the club head to be pointed to where I want to be and then make my feet adjacent to that. Either way, it's the same thing. Just mm -hmm. going one, one example one way or two, it doesn't matter. And then from there, left hand first, I like to go right, right hand from the bottom. And then you tell me if I'm square. You're pretty square. <laughs> pretty square. So perfect. After you have everything aimed, aligned, um, doing that from behind the ball, then setting up, making sure you're good and comfortable, would be understanding that you have to swing through that line. Yes. Is key. Okay, especially when you're on like hilly surfaces. Mm -hmm. Okay, if the ball's a little above my feet, just because it's, uh, just because I may be off center, off angle, doesn't mean I'm gonna swing, like hack exactly. at it or swing toward the, the hill. So I'm gonna go aim to that point again. Yep. Now a big key, like I said, is once I swing, after I hit the ball, I wanna to continue toward where I was yes. trying to aim in the first place. If I hit the ball and try to go hard left or just kinda of 
chicken wing it, mm -hmm. right? I'm not finishing the job, no. right? You hit one with no glove on. So I'll swing you through that inside of the divot there. That was perfect. Right down the line, right at his target. That's worth a club. That's worth a club twirl. So I picked up my spot, a little bit right of that, that divot right here. And shoulders square to my feet. Got my visual cue. Now I'm just gonna swing through my line. Pulled. That's a pull, but you'll say it started online. Yeah. <laughs> right? I like to say it definitely started online and yeah, no. uh, pulled a little left. Yeah, sure. For reference, he can pull it here, but you kick my ass on it, of course. <laughs> I was probably actually aimed a little bit right of that flag. Mm. So, got my visual cue, feet to my cue, shoulders. So at this point, are you even looking at the target for the most part? I'm really looking at my visual cue. Mm -hmm. Key point. Swing through my cue. There it is. That might be in. Gorgeous. Yeah. Right there. Perfect, right? Do another one. Yeah, hold that. An important point here is one, that club face is remaining square to the target while his body's rotating. Mm -hmm. Now what, the, what you might see in a video is somebody flipped up like this, exactly. which might, uh, which not might, but will 100%, you'll be losing power right at impact. Mm -hmm. It's a good indicator that you don't have, uh, you've lost swing speed right, right after impact. Mm -hmm. So by following to your target line, you're continuing that, yes. that, that speed slot. Yes. So top three things again, one, make sure that if you're, if you're going up right hand or left hand dominant that you're not turning your shoulders to do so because it's affecting your aim point. The two aim points we're looking for are shoulders and feet to be parallel. Mm -hmm. uh, number two, pick that line from behind the ball, draw that a visible line and find something within the first three to four feet from golf ball to whatever visual cue. Use that and uh, use that as best as humanly yeah. possible. Yeah to line everything up, keep those parallel cues parallel to the uh, aim point. And number three, finish the swing through the aim point. And that'll yep. become kind of muscle memory as you start doing a lot of it. It'll just do, it'll happen naturally, so. Mm -hmm. Yep, and it also keeps you rotating. Yes. Right, if I stop rotating and don't care about that cue, then most likely that's where that early extension comes mm -hmm. from. Loss of balance, loss of posture. Once I go through here, everything has to clear out of the way. I'm creating space to create power. Yeah. yeah perfect. So I uh, hope that helps figure out ways to aim better on the course, especially when you're looking at different things that aren't so flat and there's, you know, it, it's not so easy out there with hills and undulation and different uh, ball positions and things like that. So hope this helps. Take it to the course. Keep playing well.